Will you just be quiet? Two minutes. No? Hey guys, and oh my god, January favourite. Let's just get going. Makeup wise, I have been loving this sleek blush by three palette and I'm laughing because if you have watched my beauty haul you will know I bought an awful lot of these but this is the one that I've loved being been loving the most this is the pink lemonade and in particular this shade right here which is pink mint oh my god it's just oh it's so beautiful I have written a full blog post on all of the sleek blush by three that I own and that's got all swatches and everything so I will leave the link to that blog post down in the description bar and definitely I love just this one in particular it's just amazing my other beauty favorite is my makeup revolution iconic well makeup revolution redemption palette iconic three and this is a dupe for the urban decay naked three it is what I've used on my eyes today and I was very, 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 very excited to pick this up. And yeah, just like my MUA Undress Me palettes, this has just been goes been very well loved so far this month. I just think it is amazing. The colours are really good. It's a little bit powdery. <sighs> Blow it. It's a little bit powdery, but it was like three pounds. So I just love it. The amount of looks that you can make with this, then mix it with my other two Urban Decay dupes, and oh. It's just perfect. I love it. Really, really good and happy with that. For skincare and body care and stuff like that, the first thing that I've got is, well, they're actually both Soap and Glory. This is the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter, Body Butter, and I got this in, ooh, they, they, a big, huge box thing went on sale just before Christmas for half price. So I got lots of full-size Soap and Glory stuff, and I've never tried their body stuff before. And this has got to be my favourite. Firstly, just look at that for cream. It's like not even budging. I have no idea what it smells like. Let's see what it serves. Shea butter and aloe vera. It is just like the thickest, creamiest, smoothest body butter that I own. This is saved for just for like, not special occasions, but if I'm just feeling a little bit of pampering, I've been using this and it is so good. It is so hydrating and thick and creamy and oh, it done the smell. The smell just lasts forever. It's the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack Turbo Boost Hydra Gel. I got this for Christmas off Chris because I'd been eyeing it up for a while and wouldn't pay the price for it and I found it in my Christmas stocking and it is just an eye cream but it is definitely like a gel sort of jelly consistency. A little goes a very very long way with this and you apply this morning and night and it just helps you to stop half puffy eyes which I suffer with really badly and not anymore, not anymore. I don't suffer with it at all anymore. This is absolutely amazing. It is cooling, it is soothing, it is soft, it is silky, it is everything. And it has really helped, like when I get up in the morning, my eyes are not as puffy as they normally would be. So really, really love this. I'm not too impressed about the size of it. It is like, it's really dinky, but you do only need, like you literally just put your pop, pop your finger in just a little bit and it picks up more than enough for both your eyes. Fashion wise are things, at least one that I know I've spoken about before, but I have just lived in these again for the entire month of January, pretty much since I've bought them, I've been living in them. And these are my Ugg boots, which still aren't looking too bad. I'm quite proud of that. These are just cheap Ugg boots from Primark, which with, but they've got like proper soles on, so they've been really good and I've just been living in them. Let's just wear Ugg boots and leggings because it's comfortable. I just can't, I can't get them off my feet. My other fashion thing, once again, it comes from Primark and it's, I'm going to watch that candle. It is something that I've been wearing since I bought it a good few weeks ago now and I've literally just lived in it. And it is this huge green parkery coat thing and it's got like the leather on the side and a fluffy hood and it is complete like fluff inside and it is long and amazing and oh it's just so warm I don't actually own like any proper warm winter coats so I treated myself and bought this just before Christmas and I've just not been able to get out of it it's so warm and snuggly and I think this was about 25 or 30 pounds from Primark so a little bit more than what I would normally spend but I'm glad that I did because it has definitely been well loved for my random things that I've been loving, the first thing is what's in this little section here, which is candles, specifically these Yankee candles. Oh, it's getting a bit hot in there, isn't it? It's gone a bit hot in there now. 
Especially, I've been loving these Yankee candles. They, oh, they're like all the Christmas ones. They went on sale just after Christmas, so they're just everywhere around the house. Mm, this was a sunlight on snow. They're just everywhere. There's literally like, look, there's even little ones behind there, then a big one and a big one, and there's another one downstairs. And I just love them. It's the first time I've ever owned Yan like proper Yankee candles. I always just buy the little samples, and they're just burning everywhere. And they're all Christmas scents, so it still smells like Christmas in our house, which is even better. And I don't really have another random thing that I've been loving this month. Nothing that I can really think of. But I suppose my last thing, which is going to be like my recommendation, which I've started doing at the end of every monthly favourite, whether it's a book, a TV series, a film, something, music, and something just to recommend. So that's going to be like, we're going to slide that in with our last random thing that I've been loving and my um, recommendation. And that is, I'm very, very, very far behind on this, I know. But this month, me and Chris started watching Grimm on Netflix. And we just didn't stop. <laughs> Literally, that is it. That is all I've been watching. I've actually got it on my iPad just over there. So in between filming, I've been like going back and watching the next season. I'm currently up to season three. Well, like halfway through season three. And it is just amazing. I love it. It's, it's just really good. The first season was spectacular. The second one, meh. But this third one seems to have like got back, gotten back on track and I am loving it and definitely recommend. And that is it for my monthly favourites. I can't believe that we're now in February. This is insane. Make sure you stay tuned. This month I've got like from now until Valentine's Day like Valentine's themed videos going up. So make sure that you subscribe to see all of them go up. Make sure that you thumbs up and I'll see you next time.